What's up everybody? Brian here with another episode of Fishing Control. Just got some bait and we are headed out to Tybee. We are gonna, uh, we're gonna fish the beach today. Um, I'm doing a just, you know, small setup today. Uh, real quick, thank you for tuning in, especially if this is your first time tuning into the channel. Uh, if it is, you know, make sure to go ahead and subscribe, hit that notifications bell so you can make sure you get notified every time I upload new content. Um, we're taking the backpack, three rods, and the small bag cooler today and try and get some whiting. Uh, obviously, if there's anything else in the surf, I'll take that, but I, you know, I've got some shrimp, I've got some fish bites. Obviously, whiting will hit that. That's our most common targeted species around here. That's what we like to eat at the house, so that's what I tend to target. Um, the bull reds should start moving through. Like I've said in a couple other videos, there will be a tournament coming up. Hopefully I'll be fishing in that. I should be fishing in that. Um, I'll be entering that when I get back from farm tour. You know, obviously a keeper red would be plenty of fish for us. If we get one of those, it'd pretty much, you know, wrap it up for the day. Um, hopefully they'll start moving in, but we're going to get out there and see what we can get. So stay tuned. All right. So I got a few rigs. I spent a little bit of time coming this morning tying up rigs before I came out here. Here's a single drop with no beads on it. Uh, 12 pound test fluoro. Uh, a double drop with Two different shades of green like a chartreuse one fluorescent one and a standard one like a lime green one also 12 these are more for targeting like spots and whiting uh double drop pink uh with pink bead pink hooks these are all recycled by the way uh, the hooks um, these are fresh these are all recycled the swivels are all recycled uh, from those rigs this is a double drop uh, with nothing on it yet, since I don't know what's gonna necessarily hit yet. Um, these are both 17 pound fluoro. I have 20 and 30, I think, with me. Also, in case I feel like, oh, I'm gonna rig up. In case I feel like throwing a spoon, I got a big spoon with me. So, um, I'm gonna tie these up, and we're gonna head on out. All right, I'm loaded down. Two rods are tied up. I'm gonna get them out and then decide what to do with the third. I might go ahead and throw that spoon around or I might put that pomp rig I tied up on it. I don't know, I'm just gonna get out here. I'm not even sure if this is exactly where I'm gonna fish yet. So, um, we might walk up or down the beach a little bit and see what's going on. Uh, but here we go. All right, there's some folks about 30, 20, 30 yards in either direction of me, but we may not stay in one spot for too terribly long. So I got three ounce weights on whiting rigs, whiting spot rigs that I tied this morning. This one I'm going to send out a little farther, that one a little closer. I don't know why I'm shaking so much. I probably need to just drink some damn water. but. Okay, we're fishing. It's a good hit on this rod. I don't know what this is, but it's not bad. Could be a shark or a ray or something. But that was a solid hit. 
What the heck are you? A ray. Of course. hit on this rod and here we go I don't know what it is it's certainly not fighting like last time so it shouldn't be a stingray what have we got anything is it still there whatever it was a little whiting little whiting we'll take that for the bait cooler we legit are saving bait now for that tournament cut whiting is allowed and is a fantastic bait for large redfish so dang. so this guy's going in the cooler there's definitely a school out there of small whiting Hell, if I catch enough of these, we'll just fry them all up whole. Make a dinner out of them. <laughs> oh, that's getting hit. I just need for this to stay in it. And then I'll grab that. Don't go anywhere, buddy. Here I come. We're still rolling, right? I don't know if this dude's still there or not, but we're gonna find out. I don't think he is. Oh, he might be. Yep. I'll get this one out there. Hopefully the bait will stay on. This rod got hit. Here we go. A lot of slack. We're tight. Did I get him? I don't know. There it is. Whoa. Oh, goodness. Another stingray, uh, that figures. Hang out right there for a minute, bud. I gotta move this other rod holder. I don't know if you can hear me or see it, but there's a rainbow that starts to my left and ends to my right, like I'm fishing right in the middle of a rainbow. So maybe I'll, I'm about to catch something awesome. It's definitely, the wind has definitely picked up in my face, which is awful. Um, super fun time. I've got my spoon tied on on the one rod and I'm about to uh, to have a fresh whiting rig on this other rod. Something might be hitting my, my rod right now. Or it could just be something. Just getting the rods back out. We're uh, we're starting to get a little rain mist in the face. Hopefully it won't get too crazy out here. I am close to the escape route to the car, just in case. Ah, 
That could have been a straighter cast, but whatever. All right, that's two rods out. One rod maybe getting hit already. We're gonna wait for something a little more certain than that though. Could just be tumbling. So I don't know what hit my rod and ran in with it as soon as I put it out there, but I had my GoPro off and in the bag staying out of the rain. Fuck, it's another damn stingray. Of course it is. This rod just got clobbered. Let's see what I got here. Something strong. Probably a stingray. Hopefully not. Oh wow, stud whiting, stud whiting. Something had a whack at it too. Let's get some more shrimp. That's a good hit here. Oh, that's something that pulled back a little. Another stingray? That's my guess. Don't be a stingray. Please don't be a stingray. Fighting. And I'm on my other line. That is a small, small fish there. bait cooler. Sorry man, I need bait for that tournament. Anything I don't cook, I'm going bait. Something on the small rod. Did it come off? Freaking hope not. No, no, it's there. What are you? Whatever it is, keeps coming in fast. Starting to feel like a ray. 100%. A ray. Oh. Y'all, something massive just hit my thing was screaming out drag and I'm pretty sure broke me off that was a big whatever the hell it was that hurt my soul that it broke off like that it was the drag was just not going smooth
there was a fray. It had to have been a fray in my leader because this is what I'm left with. About three inches of, two or three inches of line. Just a little bit of fray going on here. So that's going to do it. Uh, we're going to end it on that big break off. Man, I wish uh, the camera had been rolling when that happened because my rod was doubled all the way over. It was screaming out drag. Uh, it was one of three things. It was either a big bull red, it was a shark, or it was a big ray. Um, given what we've been catching today, my money was on big ray. Uh, probably got tangled up around it anyway, and that's why it broke off so high on the leader. Uh, that's about the only thing I can come up with, but uh, I also ran out of bait on that fish. So, I mean, I got plenty of stuff in the cooler. I got a whiting to add to dinner for tonight. Uh, we're having brisket. Uh, thanks, Nate. Um, and uh, a bunch of small whiting to use for cut bait. So, uh, yeah, I might throw the spoon two or three times right quick just to see if I can hook up to whatever bait was out there, if it was something else, and then, uh, then we'll be out of here. So we'll run this for about a minute or two. If whatever hit that bait was predatory, It should hit a spoon like this. <laughs> 